It's the longest <laughs> eight minutes of your life. We just want to eat that so bad right now. But. Well, headed northbound, 93. First trip of the year. Feels good. Wanted to be on trail by 9, it's 840. Perfect timing. Not on trail yet technically, but we're starting the journey. So head up to Owl's Head should be a beautiful day for it. About nine miles to the top and then five to camp tonight, so should make for a good long day. footer it's on my list but it's notorious uh, among 48 seekers because it's in the middle of nowhere it's in the middle of this great big bowl essentially as the bridges all around it uh, it's not above tree line there's almost zero view at the top and if you do it as a day hike it's 18 miles out and back and you know, it's just a walk in the woods. It's flat for almost all of that. You do all of your vert pretty much in like the last mile. This is like a mountain that sits in the middle of this flat bowl. It's a nice to cool little area. Anyways, so far, I'm kind of liking the walk in the woods. That's no skyline views of the ridge in Franconia, but it's really peaceful and it's super quiet. Like not many people come out here. I haven't seen anyone since I left the main Hemi Loop Trail, so. <sighs> so far, I don't think I'm gonna mind that, was it? this. <laughs> I'm going to think about this a little bit before I do it. I heard there was river crossings. I guess this time of year they're higher than usual. I have to make a decision here. If I really think I can get across rock hopping safely, I'll do it. Otherwise I'm going to spend the time, get the boots off, get the socks off, way across get the other side, dry everything off, put it back on because I don't want to take one little wrong step and have a soaking wet boot for two days out here because it won't dry, not in this community. So I gotta just take a second, do a little risk assessment here and figure out what I want to do. God, it's a beautiful place to take a second. Alright, so I'm in the middle of the river. I did find a route I can cross. Hopping. Now you might be sitting at home thinking, oh, that's not too bad. That's, too bad. that's true, it's not too bad, but you got a 40 pound pack on, nothing to balance yourself with. And when you're out here on your own, and dry feet are critical, just say I'm taking it extra cautious. Oh, it's nice to be out here. Fuck, it's nice to be out here.
We're gonna go across. That's the safest option. Pain in the ass, but safety always comes first, so. Here it goes. Ah! This water is absolutely frigid. It's not very long since the snow melted. And it is cold. Here we are again, another river crossing. Same river, I'm just kind of snaking back and forth over it. Going just over eight miles here, three and a half hours. And I'm just now at the base of Alisa Mountain. Start my ascent. I've only done about a thousand feet so far. Out of the three, I have to do total so. I got a little under 2k to do in a mile and a half, something like that. And gnarly, right here. That was your step, for sure. Hard to put in perspective how steep this is. We're doing all 2k of that bird. Right away. It's not the steepest I've ever been on. There's some places in Washington that are steep. But it's up there. Just give me an idea how steep it is. That's where I came from. Okay, gnarly. Uh, start to get a doubt that you're even on the right place, but behind me so unless I'm leading them <laughs> up the side of some bushwhack. I think it's just super steep. Yeah. Alright so I made it off oh, the real steep stuff. Oh kinda. That's how it goes. Anyway bridge behind me. Beautiful day. It's almost impossible always to show how vertical something is, but that's the trail. It's a real deal. Real deal mountain. Out in the middle of nowhere. That's the top of how was that? I'm finally popping out here a little bit. Looking across. Franconia Ridge there. Back side of it. What a day out here. Check this out. That's the trail. That's where I am. Okay. That's my hip. Right here. This is eye level for me. Alright, so this is officially the gnarliest train I've ever climbed. In the whites anyway. And let's not forget I got my overnight back on. 40 pounds, look at this. I mean this is vertical. Come up. It's over 2,000 vertical feet. In just about an hour. And I'm worked. Here we are. Top of Alfred Mountain. Just over 4,000 feet. Done about 3K vert. 3k vert, 9.4 miles, four and a half hours. And uh, this is it, this is the top, so. This is another one of those peak bagger peaks like Rock Tom was. No one's slugging nine miles in the woods. Climbing 3,000 vertical feet for this, for the view. Put it that way. It's a wonderful place and I love the mountains, but some people are you know, not interested in the list. I'm doing the list. Glad I'm up here. 
This is off my list now officially. That's number 25. <laughs> Couldn't be happier about it. So. All right, so sit rep. I'm off the mountain. Uh, 12, I did 12 miles total. I had two miles left to get to campsite. And I met uh, four different groups. Coming back to 13 Falls said, no way, they're full. They're sending the people back. And he said, we're looking for a place to stay along the trail somewhere now. All right, so I'm here. I cleared away some brush, cleared away some little things here and there. Got a nice little flat spot, got the tent set up, and right now I'm just getting a little flat for a little while here. I'm back, just feeling it. First trip of the year, it always does, so I'm just gonna lay here, listen to the river. The vestibule. So, gotta set the tent now. Got to fly up. And uh, I sit here and listen to the rain. Well, I'm still spitting rain a little bit here. And I'm just kind of hanging out. Super comfortable. My book going. Make dinner here about an hour, probably. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm camped out about uh, 300 feet that way, up river, and I've got I'll do all my meal prep here. I'll do all my cooking here. I'll wash the rock down with water and everything. Everything's gonna go in this bag, and then this bag is gonna stay in this area up high somewhere, and uh, nowhere near where I'm sleeping. So best I can do against bears. I think I'm about to have a storm. Can't really hear the thunder because of how loud the water is, but the wind is shifting and that baby's looking pretty menacing and I definitely heard a few little, little rumbles even over the, the water, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back across to my camp and get inside for a while. Alright, it's about 8 o'clock, which is known as Hiker Midnight. Oh, I'm tired. Night. I've never seen the darkness so dark. Literally, you open your eyes, you can't see a thing, nothing. Completely like right having your eyes shut. It's pouring uh, rain tonight. So. Nice and dry here. Going back to sleep. <laughs> Down a little bit last night. Yeah. You know, sea level was warm, 60 degrees last night, but we're up here, right around 3,000 feet. Yeah. We got down to the 40s last night. Oh, it's cozy. Oh. So my gear on, my bag on. So still real dark. Darkest night I've ever had in my life. Just to give you an idea how effective my vestibule was last night. The ground is soaked, and right there, my vestibule is dry as can be. And it was, I mean, it was pouring rain last night, so that's always nice to see. Tent's really nice, keeps you dry. Well, I'm here on Kitchen Rock. It's already getting pretty light, pretty quick. Yeah, which is nice. We have some 
granola, we have some nice hot tea. Looking forward to that. Good place to wake up. Have a morning. Nothing quite like a nice hot cup of tea in the morning. Especially on a chilly morning with a little breeze. Alright, so that's where I spent the, the night. You can't even tell I was there except for the perfectly dry footprint. Uh, you can tell it. It's pouring rain last night. The uh, trail is soaked. And there's lots of places where you can see run off, so the water was running down the trail pretty good. I am definitely the first person through this section of the trail this morning, which makes sense for the time of day and where I am. And the real drawback to that, as it happens perfectly comedically timed, is freaking cop spider webs. Remember what I said about spider webs? <laughs> Check these guys out. Uh -huh. I'll try and avoid them all the way through, guys. Feel like that tomorrow and I don't. Well, the bridge over to the visitor center is right there. It's gonna be 20 miles, two days, around 4,000 vertical feet. And uh, what a trip. My first time ever primitive camping, just off trail. And uh, I loved every second of it, so. This is it. This is the end. This is where the story ends. Until next time, I'll be back out in the whites here pretty soon. Three, three weeks or so. Got another trip planned, so. Always looking forward to the next one as well, but happy to be getting back to the car.